Cook County is blessed with beautiful flora and fauna and extensive forest preserves, more than any other county in Illinois. However, there are many invasive species in the Chicagoland region which negatively affect the health and diversity of our ecosystem. An invasive species is a type of plant which is usually not native to the area. They may be transported here from foreign countries by boats, planes, and even birds. These species are harmful to the natural environment because they take over lots of resources like sunlight, nutrients, and especially space. For example, buckthorn from Europe often grows so thick it blocks out all sun for the shorter plants, killing them off. There are many ways someone can help combat invasive species. The first step is to learn how to identify the plant. So this is buckthorn. Latin name is Rhamnus cathartica. Cathartica <laughs> comes from catharsis, uh, which means like to expunge. Um, and if, if you eat the berries, it will give you diarrhea. And that is one of the ways that the, the plant is spread is because birds eat the berries and then fly around and go through their own catharsis. So the way that you identify it is one way, the quickest way from a distance is to look at the bark, which has these little, they're called lenticels, these little white dots, stripiness all over it. If you look at the twigs, you'll see that on the ends of many of the twigs is a sharp little thorn. So buckthorn, it's his name from that. And then if you look at the arrangement of the branches, they come off the stem, uh, not opposite, but kind of close to each other. Um, some species have the branches coming off directly opposite each other. And then finally, if you look at the buds for next year's leaves, they look like little black hands clasping the stem. And then one final thing, uh, once you've cut it, hopefully you haven't made a mistake, but the way to make sure you haven't made a mistake is that the, the wood is a, is a distinctive yellow-orange color. You can volunteer with the Forest Preserves and help remove buckthorn by visiting this link. The phone app iNaturalist is a great resource to get started if you need assistance identifying plants in your own yard. Another invasive species that was brought here from Europe is goutweed. It gets its name because it can be used to treat gout. It spreads quickly and aggressively, eradicating all other plants with its long and white roots. Although you can use herbicides to fight goutweed, it's better to try more natural remedies. You can suffocate goutweed out of your yard by placing a black tarp over a section and keep it there for one year. This kills the plant by depriving it of the sunlight that it needs. You can also dig it up, but this is difficult to do with goutweed due to its tangled roots. Goutweed can be identified by its small white flowers in umbrella-shaped clusters when it blooms in June but before that, you can identify it based on its leaf patterns. Another invasive species in our area is a plant called Lesser Celandine. It's native to Europe and West Asia with distinctive yellow flowers. It's low growing and mat forming. It emerges earlier in the year than most native plants, and so it tends to inhibit the development and reproduction of other species. Lesser Celandine is currently illegal in Illinois due to its harm. The problem is that most people already have the plant in their yard without realizing it. The, um, the leaves are this very attractive, kind of heart-shaped leaf. I work really hard to get the tubers out, but I clearly failed. That, let's get that in the sun, that is a tuber. They look like tiny little, tiny, tiny little baked potatoes. People talk about people and nature, and that's never been the case. You know, people are part of nature and have always been part of a nature, uh, the natural area world, and have always interacted and changed it and been changed. So, I mean, that's, <laughs> to me, that's one of the, the most impressive things about um, being part of this is just recognizing that we are so much a part of um, all of that. and and how much it depends on our good behavior <laughs> in terms of taking care of it and not, not destroying it. Protecting our natural environment from invasive species is incredibly important. Taking small steps to prevent their spread can positively impact generations to come.